I think I've had enough pity parties and working on a tribute playlist on on the Marvel Netflix shows to finally do this. So, if there isn't any other other bullshit going on, I can f finally start work on this working on this video. So, back to your reg regularly scheduled script. <laughs> so, yeah. The reason why Wally was brought back was because he was he was bringing hope back to the DC universe. He was also getting people to remember pre New 52 as well as trying to get Linda to remember as well and look for his kids. Uh, there were stories to tell DDO, but you, as well as DC Editorial, decided to sideline the character for most of the duration of his return by sidelining him in solely the Titans book before supposedly killing him off in Heroes in Crisis. This just shows, Dan, that you didn't get the point of what Rebirth stood for if you didn't get why Wally returned. Because based, how, based on how Jeff Johns wrote DC Universe, it wasn't just for fun. I will say a legit thank you to the current writer on, on the Flash book, Joshua Williamson, who, even though he knew of Wally's fate in Heroes in Crisis, decided to bring Wally back into the mainline Flash book to give fans something good before his supposed devi demise. Williamson also wanted Wally to play a bigger role in his Flash run, but DC editorial said no. In a recent tweet by Tom King, he states the following, Hmm, seeing lots of people letting me off the hook for stuff DC publisher Dan Didio uh, made Tom do, or whatever. While I appreciate this very kind defense, I'm in the inevitable position of uh, being responsible for my own, my own writing choices. The faults in my books are mine and mine alone. To which I replied, your book would have been great, great and new if Didio hadn't taken interest at, and made it and Identity Crisis 2.0. He knows fa fans hated that story, but continues to praise it like the treasure he thinks it is. Let's face it, he told you you can kill off Wally West because the character had been sidelined for the past two years since his return by mostly being limited to just the Titans book. Given Dan's attitude towards Redhead Wally, New 52 was the death of Wally to him, and then he tried bringing back a punk polar opposite Wally as Kid Flash in 2015, knowing good and well that's not what fans wanted. Wally had a story to be told, which was letting more people know and remember pre-New 52, or if that felt like a threat to DDO, then they could just let Linda remember and find his kids. But no, he was sidelined for two years until he was briefly in Williamson's run and then sent to your mini. I would have praised or at least been interested in Heroes in Crisis, but after two years of BS from DDO and his petty hatred for a fictional character, I won't be getting your book. DDO's hatred for Wally goes as far back as when Barry returned in the DC Universe. Wally was sidelined after after and then erased in New 52, replaced by a knockoff with a knockoff with the same name, then brought back to on rebirth only to be sidelined and suffer some more. This almost makes me wish they used Wally on the flat as the Flash on that shitty uh, CW Flash show, at least then he wouldn't be going through all this in the comics. All I'm going to say is, is this, uh, is this DDO. Stop with the Silver Age boner you have for Silver Age characters like Barry and move on, because you aren't attracting new readers when you pull this other shit, and you aren't keeping older readers who like, who like characters like Wally West, Dick Grayson, and Roy Harper if you keep pushing other characters like with Barry or just screwing the characters completely like the ones I just mentioned. Enough is enough, DDO. Now, with all that BS out of the way, I'm going to play Clue on my PC. Later.
Thank you.